Now, there is this never-ending battle that ensues between Android users and iPhone users because the platforms claim that theirs is a more secure platform indeed. But iPhone users kind of come out on top a lot of the times because uh, the FBI in the past have had trouble hacking into an iPhone and a lot of the iPhone users say that their ecosystem is much more secure. And yes, practically if you look at the ecosystem, iPhone does come out on the top. However, during a hackathon in Germany recently, a cybersecurity researcher named Thomas Ruth discovered a vulnerability in the USB of the iPhone by which you can actually hack into the smartphone. Now, this discovery was made in the MacBook ecosystem, but Ruth said that even the iPhone was vulnerable. Now, the USB-C technology started on the iPhone 15 series, and from there, we have been continuing with USB-C on the iPhones. Now, the AC3 USB is iPhone's proprietary, Apple's proprietary technology, and that is where the vulnerability has been found, where if you connect a USB into the iPhone, you're potentially letting the door open for hackers to take your data. Now, the USB has two primary purposes. One, it can be used for charging and the second for data transfers. Now, while the charging ecosystem is absolutely fine and secure, it's the data transfers that could be a possibility for a hack. Because if you connect your iPhone to a laptop that has malware, you can inject that malware into your iPhone and your data could be lost. Now, previously, we've heard of instances of juice jacking. Basically, juice jacking means that these public charging stations have these USBs which can be hacked. And then when you connect those USBs into your phone, your data can be stolen. Now, with the earlier technology of lightning ports, this wasn't a concern. But with the invention of USB-C and with hackers also gaining the vulnerabilities, also looking into the possibilities of how they can use USB-C to hack into devices, iPhones have also become vulnerable. Now, this revelation by Roth raises serious concerns in the iPhone ecosystem, especially the AC3 technology that the iPhone uses. Now, no word from Apple whether this is a serious concern or not. They haven't flagged it yet. But yes, iPhone users should definitely stay cautious about this vulnerability. The best way to avoid your phone being hacked is not to use these public charging stations that offer USB. If you really want to charge your device connected to a power bank or a source that you can trust, I think the most safest bet is using an adapter that you trust. So if you're an iPhone user watching this video, I suggest you share it with all of the people and friends that you know who use an iPhone so you can spread awareness about this issue on the iPhone. And for more tech, follow Fiber.